the Hapag Lloyd container ship fleet, a total of seven container vessels facing a colossal retrofit at Fayard Shipyard. The aim, to improve the vessel's transport costs efficiency, thereby reducing the collective CO2 discharge in line with Hapag Lloyd's goal of zero emissions by the year 2045. The task, to raise the height of the entire wheelhouse and construct extra lashing bridges, increasing the container capacity by about 18%. Approximately six months before the first container vessel's arrival at the dockyard, Fayard Shipyard had to prepare the new wheelhouse components and extra lashing bridges, according to the plans made by the owner's architect and approved by class before the work could begin. It was vital that all components were prefabricated and ready for assembly in order to minimize the downtime for the whole refit. The prefabricated components for the new levels of the wheelhouse were cut, welded and assembled. ready to be placed on the dockside. While sailing to the dockyard, extensive preparations were carried out. The removal of panels and insulation to expose the steel panels ready for cutting. As soon as the container vessel arrives at the dockyard, scaffolding is mounted around the lashing bridges and wheelhouse where the welding is to take place. Electricians begin disassembling all the cables and equipment piping and at the same time, the cutting process of separating the wheelhouse from the ship begins. When that is complete, the enormous task of lifting the wheelhouse from the vessel is carried out with the utmost precision. Hapag Lloyd had prepared and approved the lifting plan to be used where the lifting eyes were to be installed. And how to carry out the lift without causing structural damage to the wheelhouse. The 1,200-ton gantry crane ensured a secure lift and placement. With no repair work to the existing wheelhouse structure required. The separated wheelhouse section is placed temporarily on the dockside, where the steel plates are prepared for welding. Installation of the new section is then carried out in two steps. First, the wheelhouse is lifted onto the new section. Then the two structures are welded together and all the systems are connected. After about four to five days, the new wheelhouse, which now weighs over 450 tons, is then carefully lifted back onto the vessel. and the final welding process can begin. The equipping and refurbishment of the new wheelhouse is then carried out, followed by the insulation and fittings.
all electrical connections from the new wheelhouse and the ship are re-established. All pipes, cables and electrics are reconnected and thoroughly tested before the ship leaves the dockyard. At the same time, the extensions to the lashing bridges are prepared and welded to the existing bridges and both strengthened and prepared for seaworthiness. After installation, the interfaces to existing structures were all treated and painted. Before the container vessel arrived at the dock, Hapag Lloyd had ordered a new ship's propeller, which was now ready for mounting. The new propeller, weighing 75 tons, has been designed according to the vessel's new speed range. The slightly reduced speed of the heavier vessel requires a reduced RPM and therefore an increased saving potential in fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. When the container vessel leaves the dockyard, it has the same motor. With a new and more efficient propeller producing fewer CO2 emissions and an increased load capacity of 1,000 containers. From the vessel's arrival at Fayard Shipyard to the time it is back in operation has only taken 28 days.